Now, I love anime because what is not to like? Smooth bodies clashing against each other for male domination. Um, uh, r rip chess. Uh, um, uh, 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 the plots. The plots have lots of nuance and uh, uh, earthy tones. Oh god, I, I want to be that basketball. Anyway, I want to discuss a game that's very liked. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, non in the Nippon, has not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that one. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Storm. I'm not fucking saying that. Naruto na. Naruto Tomorrow is the first installment of the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. It is a fighting game developed by CyberConnect2 and published by Bandai Namco Games. But did you know? At this point, CyberConnect1 was busy doing God's work by making tractor parts. In an interview as to why they weren't helping with the development, allegedly they said they would call the police on me and that they were never a games developer. CC2 would go on to develop the game alone. CyberConnect2 did try to contact CyberConnect3 for help on the game, but sadly it didn't exist. It was released exclusively for the PS3, which, okay, you know, it makes sense. Uh, the PS3 was more popular than the Xbox in Japan, and this is a disgusting hentai game after all, which, as we all know, it, it would never be released on a premium gaming machine like the Xbox. Stinky pee box go away. It invaded homes in North America, Europe, and Australia on November 2008 and in Japan on January 15th, 2009. Japan got it last, ooh, what's that anime community? Australia got this shit before Japan and they're stuck in the dark ages. It is based on the popular manga and anime series Naruto by Masashi Kishimoto. It's weird that they would just lie like that on Wikipedia. Isn't this game supposed to be a DBZ game? Ugh, any now, before we look at this, I, I, I have to clear something up. Contrary to popular belief, I have never ever devoured an entire melon. I repeat, never ever. Many people have been asking me about this, but this is the truth. Half a melon I can do. Any chump, any buffoon could do that. But an entire one? It's just too much. I can't. I, uh, I apologize to anyone who has been led astray, or as the Japanese say, Goman. Now I don't own a PS3 because I'm living in 2022, but I do have Steam. So why don't we see what this game is all about? Let's go into all of the details. All of them. Story, adventure, Boruto's tale, battle, collection, online battle, free battle, story, adventure, Boruto's tale. They gave the bastard two tales. So much is missing from this game. Even the story was rewritten and redubbed. Why the hell is Raditz the main villain? What's going on? I guess Raditz was too offensive of a name, so they named him Madara. What's a Madara? Sorry, I mean Madara. Four kids. Four kids? <laughs> you went too far this time. I can't even begin to count how many things you've censored. They also gave us that thing over there. I don't know what it is. I feel violated just looking at it. I mean, it was not in the manga, I can tell you that. I only skipped 18,000 pages, so I'm a bit of an expert. It must be anti-canon, and therefore a sin. Have fun burning in hell, Bandai Namco. Dragon Ball fans will be disappointed to see that, sadly, the game lacks a lot of characteristics we've come to expect in Dragon Ball games. For stars, the game has no Dragon Ball characters. Make sure you're sitting down for this one. Goku is absent! I don't care about anyone else. Many will be happy to realise that the Kamehameha is intact in this game. But I have to say, where the f*** is Super Saiyan? As a guardian of the public, I, I can't stand by and tell you guys that Naruto Ultimate Storm Eagle 4 is a good Dragon Ball game without the best Dragon Ball characteristics. Uh, it's disappointing to see this in, uh... He's here! I I, I, I formally apologize to CyberConnect2. I, 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 I was wrong. Super Saiyan is here and it's better than ever. It doesn't make any f***ing sense that he isn't Super or Saiyan, but it's good enough for me. My conclusion is that Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm has a little something for everyone. 
except a fellow Pakistani like me, so there's a little nothing for me, but a masterpiece in game design? It is. This is a risky entry in the Dragon Ball franchise, taking the risk of having zero Dragon Ball characters instead focusing on a cast of brand new nobodies. I am gobblesmacked, I, I really am. It was completely unexpected, but I, I can't recommend this game to a fellow Dragon Ball Z fan. It is in fact not a good Dragon Ball game. Look at the movement and characters, well named, story, sounds, powers, clothing, medication, social hierarchy, duck president, food, underwear, muscle tens, driving instructors. Everything that we have come to expect from the prestigious and prolific Dragon Ball franchise. Very disappointing to see. I give this game a 38 out of 500 GB on my hard drive.